वेलकम बैक दिस इज यूनिट टू यूनिट थ्री लेक्चर टू एंड इन दिस यूनिट थ्री लेक्चर टू वी आर गोइंग टू एंड द चैप्टर थ्री और यूनिट थ्री ऑफ सी एस एन एट सिलेबस रिमेम्बर इन लेक्चर वन वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द डीएनए रेप्लीकेशन एंड ट्रांसलेशन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मोस्टली ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इन प्रो कैरियॉट्स डीएनए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इन यू कैरियॉट्स we'll also talk about the rna modification after transcription in eukaryotes including the polyadenylation 5 prime capping as well as splicing we'll also talk about rna editing mechanism and rna editing related uh, topics and very importantly we are also going to talk about rna silencing technology and rna i and any other rna silencing methods that are available we are going to talk about crispr cas9 method and many more modern rna biology technology the number written after every single topic's name is corresponding with approximate number of questions you can expect from that topic in csr net exam remember rna biology is really important and in csr net rna biology questions are asked a lot in the recent years so stay tuned and watch the lecture so now one very interesting and important thing that we all need to know is regarding this idea of dna strand and the basic of dna strand because you know when we discuss about the dna replication we don't need to bother about which strand the dna is involved in replication because both the parent strand are utilized as a template and they are utilized for the replication process to continue but here uh, between the both dna strands only one of the strand is used as a template to make the rna that's why it's really important to know which strand is acting as a uh, rna coding or which is acting as there are different names for sense anti sense coding non coding things like that so make it really clear i can put this details here like this you know why i'm talking about is from dna to rna then from rna to protein involving transcription and translation with its process here you can see the dna with the dna sequences and let's assume in this case the mrna sequence is a u g g g whatever so this sequence is exactly the same as the sequence we see in this blue colored strand in the dna right except for in dna we have t in rna we have u but that's the same thing we dna and rna so the sequence which is present in rna and the strand which is exactly identical like the strand rna is known as the sense strand means that strand is the sense and that particular mrna if you that mrna will ultimately code for protein because once they are translated they will make the protein so mrna translated into proteins so the easy way to remember what i say is this this rna sequence will be actually converted into the protein and that makes sense so whatever strand of the dna is exactly identical to the mrna is known as the sense strand and obviously if it's a sense strand then the complementary to that will be termed as anti sense right now one more question still left which is coding which is non coding now here comes the d the sense strand is also known as the coding strand because you know if if this is the sense strand this produces exact identical structure of mrna and mrna is translated into proteins so coding means what the codons uh, that are actually recognized by the tRNA is this codon means three nucleotides at a stretch so this is the codon containing structure or sequence so what we can say in simple term mRNA equals to sense equals to coding so the dna strand looks like mRNA is the sense strand it's also called as a coding strand so obviously the one which is sense the other complementary strand is the anti sense and the complement is also known as the non coding so this is the simplest way you can remember mrna is sense it it could it is a coding strand now this is regarding just a preliminary idea because you know when we discuss about the topic you will see one of the strands of the dna is taken as a template so as we are trying to make this mrna obviously we are utilizing this as a this as a template so the opposite strand as a template because if we take this as a template then only we can make the mrna 
as you're looking here because you can see this between anti cells and mrna the structures are the sequence are complementary t a a u c g like that so now let's look at uh, how exactly the process of transcription take place in prokaryotes we first talk about the transcription process in prokaryotes and then we'll start discussing about the transcription in eukaryotes the initiation of transcription in eukaryotes here we can see the overview of transcription in prokaryotes and in this process you can see that we have this uh, start site and we also have a stop site this is really important uh, in case of dna replication we also saw that we need to have a origin of replication and a termination site of replication the same thing occurs here the origin of transcription and stop site for transcription so the origin here is termed as promoter and the end is termed as terminator promoter and terminator promoter actually is the place where the polymerase rna polymerase recognizes the dna and bind with it so that they can start the transcription process from there and terminator contain special sequence that force the transcription process to end there so here you can see that this is a place in a very simplistic manner i can say that the rna polymerase is the only solo enzyme that is involved in the process of transcription as i said earlier that rna polymerase is even more versatile compared to dna polymerase because dna polymerase need other enzymes to function helicase ligase all the enzymes to function but rna polymerase can start the nucleus uh, i mean start the addition of nucleotides together at the very beginning so it's a de novo polymerase so rna polymerase can recognize that start site and once it recognizes the start site the rna polymerase start adding nucleotide sequences one by another and that continue to stretch and extend the sequence from the promoter site until they reaches the terminator part once they reach the terminator sequence then the process is end and the stretch of the rna is removed